what's going on everybody baby spine here and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my howitzer guide and deck build and we will just go ahead and get to the guide portion of this real quick and go over his abilities real quick real quick and let you kind of know how to use them uh, given the situation all right so we got his passive fast reload this right here gives kills or assists reduce uh, active cooldowns by 20% and this is really good that's cooldown reduction and that's just great because howitzer is getting kills and assists all the time if you use them right and this should really help you you know this should provide you all the cdr you really need for howitzer and in the build i'm using because his passive you know gives it to you so you can focus on other stats and then we have the cannon this is a ranged attack dealing 49.95 energy damage and 10 percent splash damage to nearby enemies this is his uh, basic attack, and it just allows him to, you know, push up with lanes with it. It kind of provides a little bit of splash damage there to everybody around, too. So that's a good thing. It helps with clearing waves out and whatnot. And uh, when you use it with your other abilities, like Slow Grenade, this is... These are three little grenades that he shoots out. It fires three proximity bombs and an arc that explode for 50 energy damage and slow enemies. Now, the cool thing about these grenades is, is that if you pan your camera upwards and then shoot them out, they will actually shoot out and spread out and shoot out a little bit further and they'll spread out more if you pan your camera up higher. And if you pan your camera down lower and look down to the ground, it'll actually shoot them all really close together in close proximity. Like if you're just trying to have all three of them go off at once on somebody that's chasing you, you could put them all boom really close together. Or you, if you had a bunch of people kind of far away, you could look up and pan out and throw them out and they would kind of spread out. And you'll see it in the uh, performance deck montage in the end of how I kind of do that. And it really Really helps out and just puts good crowd control all over the field and helps people escape and also slow people down to kill them and his next ability is the rocket it fires a long-range rocket that deals 85 energy damage and this right here is a kill stealer you can just point that rocket at whoever you want and it'll blow off the rest of their HP this is a great move and it gets a lot stronger as you increase your energy damage with the deck build we're going to be using the next ability is his landmine this explodes after five seconds, knocking back enemies and dealing 50 energy damage. Reactivate to detonate early. And that is definitely an important thing to remember is reactivate to detonate early. This is what separates the noob howitzers from the howitzers who know what they're doing. This landmine is such a great move. You can literally, whenever a, a melee heroes and people are coming to kill howitzer and they get on him, you can turn around, drop the mine directly on yourself and then take like one step and detonate it right away by pressing the circle button again and it will immediately blow both of you in the opposite direction because they'll still be behind you and you'll be on the other side of the mine and it blasts people in the direction you know what side of the mine they're on that they're going to go the opposite and go flying back so you can place it directly on yourself step forward one second and boom blow both y'all in two different directions separating you guys with a huge difference it is it's a really good move and not only that but if you use this move well i'll come back to landmine we're going to talk about his next ability make it rain <clears throat> this is a volley of missiles hitting an area for 450 energy damage over four seconds and the last missile does 50 percent of all damage so if you build up your energy damage up really high and then you do this ability it's going to be really strong and the last middle missile is going to be a gank missile it's going to kill any low health heroes that are still standing in the radius and one great way to make people really get hit by this ability is to use it in synchronization with another one of your abilities like landmine you can do make it rain and what happens is howitzer flies straight up into the air and from this point you can put down literally the biggest like aoe ultimate in the game you can put this circle around an entire team fight that's going on and start damaging everybody and here's something that it doesn't tell you what i do with my uh dual shot controller here is at the top of the ultimate after he shoots out all the missiles i press the left joystick in a direction plus the r2 button and this seems to boost howitzer in a direction which this does not tell you here in his abilities but you can boost in any direction left right forward backwards to put better position yourself when coming down from the ultimate and another good tip for howitzer is that all of his moves like make it rain and rocket and uh I think that's about it. Those moves let him hover. Make it rain makes him float in the sky when he's casting the rockets down. And then before you land, you can even shoot another rocket that will make him hover in the air until he shoots the rocket. You can sit there and aim it 
You know, it's although it's not smart to hover in the air for too long around the end game because ranger carries can blow you straight out of the sky. But early to mid game, this is actually devastating. And either way, after you boost out of a certain direction after you're done doing make it rain let's say you boost backwards while you're still in the air you want to boost in the direction that you see enemy heroes trying to escape your radius boost in that direction that they're heading in land in front of them and drop a landmine on the way down and with you landing on one side and them hopefully being on the other side detonate it early and send them flying back into your volley of missiles and watch that last missile hit them and destroy them and it's that is the best thing I've ever seen how he do and it, he is just such a underestimated hero and you know he's like an underdog of a hero I feel like he's got this bad rep and people think he's bad and that's not the case you know he's not a ranger carry he's not supposed to have this insane amount of damage he's a caster pusher he's supposed to be a beast in a lane and he's supposed to have great crowd control and pushing abilities and he has just that and he has some pretty good damage if you build him to do so so let's move on to the deck portion of this build All right, so now we are going to be looking at the deck, which I like to call the lane mech, a.k.a. the Muppet in a mech. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you howitzer. All right, but seriously, we're going to delete this deck and build it from the ground up so you guys know just how I make this deck and how to kind of make a pretty effective howitzer. Yes, we're going to delete the deck. Now we will create a new deck. Mr. Howitzer creates. All right. <clears throat> so howitzer is an energy damage hero so we are going to be going with the arch magus or magus well, however you'd say that we're going with that one the op buff card that gives you the 75.8 energy damage 100 damage bonus unique unique passive plus 300 damage versus structures to minions yeah so that's cool we're gonna get that because howitzer uses energy damage and when op buff gets activated you want this boost of energy damage so he's more deadly in a lane or whether it be in a team fight or wherever he just happens to be you want him to be more deadly with the energy damage uh archmage's card and we're gonna go ahead and buy the cheap one point uh little active health mana harvester key and scout wards these are i like to get these with every deck that i that i make for you guys and you know these are great starter items that you can get rid of in the late game and <clears throat> let's go on to the deck itself let's just go ahead and filter what we're looking for in this deck we are going to be focusing on energy damage we're going to be focusing on energy damage and mana for starters and we're, we're we're looking for these because we are going to be getting the where is it at wellspring staff first card you're going to be getting is a wellspring staff with three major cast and this is because it does 22.7 energy damage the major cast and the wellspring staff does energy damage fully upgraded 15.2 energy damage it also gives you a little bit of mana and uh you know this is going to be our first card to build a baseline of energy damage and start you know kind of hitting hard right away we're going to link and add that and then on the next card we're going to go with another wellspring staff now this one is going to be completely up to you we're actually going to link six cards here we're going to link three major casts and we're going to link three advanced manas and this could be because you may not know how the game's going if it's looking like it's going to be a really hard competitive long drawn out game you may want to give yourself more mana so you can be more dominant and be in a lane longer and try to out sustain people in lanes and whatnot if that's what your team needs you to be doing but if your team needs you to be there for team fights and be coming up clutch and a little bit more ganky with your alt and everything then you're probably going to want to keep using major cast and get him more uh, offensive so his ultimate does a lot more damage and his abilities and everything so you can really help contribute in a uh, team fight damage per second and whatnot so we'll go ahead and link that and that's your choice however you want to go I've played howitzer with a lot of different builds and I really like the extra mana but at the same time I really like the extra damage as well so we're just gonna have that there for you know whatever the case may be and then next card we're gonna be getting is a Solaris reactor and we're gonna keep continuing to boost our energy damage this is kind of like a wellspring staff but instead of the mana it gives you mana regen and i don't have any more wellspring staffs or else i'd probably just keep using those and we're going to give it three major casts and continue to boost the energy damage through the roof 
That's three cards total. Now we're moving on to four cards and we're going to continue to follow suit here and just continue to boost the damage up as much as possible. Unfortunately, we run out of major cast right there, so we're going to need to find something else to do for the next card. And what I think is a good idea is running one more Solus Reactor. And then because we are at the end of the deck here and this is going to be the last card and we're probably going to be getting rid of our mana potion by now because we will this will be 60 points we're going to give ourselves some extra mana regeneration to stack up with the solace reactors 0.3 mana re regeneration that's been building passively on the last three cards and this is really going to help out when you get rid of your mana potion at the end game because this is going to stack up with your total mana regeneration rate and you're no longer going to have mana potions to help out so this advanced spark is a uncommon upgrade that gives you mana regeneration almost one 0 0.9 that's pretty good because mana regeneration i feel like is a really rare thing in this game all right so let's go ahead and link and add that and that will give you one two three four and five cards total and that will equal a 60 point deck because all these will total out to 12 point cards and there's five of them and you know like however you want to run this in the game Taj, i'm about to show you guys i happen to use the all damage the whole build was just nothing but major cast but like i said i've played with the advanced manas and that is a better choice if you're going to be in a lane for a long period of time if you have a really good team and everybody's really offensive and you're helping out big time with team fights and just moving up with like a death ball uh, style of a team then i feel like going with damage is going to be a better choice on that second wellspring staff so in this order this is your first card wellspring staff all major cast second card wellspring staff all major cast and or all advanced mana depending on the situation after that you're going to get solace reactors all major cast solace reactor all major cast and a solace reactor with some advanced sparks for the end game when you're dropping off your health and mana potions and you need some extra mana regen uh, that should help out and that will give you a 60 point deck and your howitzer will be devastating in lanes and team fights alike. I really like this build. I really like playing howitzer. He is, an, uh, he is a really fun hero to play. Almost maybe one of my favorites. Uh, if you get a good team who's on board and you know lets howitzer do what he needs to do, it is, he is a really rewarding hero. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck build. I want you guys to give it a try and tell me how you like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you have not. And this is Baby Spine. Out. Peace. 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 Peace.